Let me especially welcome everybody to tonight's event. Uh, uh, I can see that we have beautiful faces here tonight. Um, Mr. Ayola has asked me to thank everybody especially for taking our time to come out and celebrate him this golden jubilee. Please put your hands together for yourself, ladies and gentlemen, please. All right, we'll be starting Nenis. Um, he's not yet around. He's somewhere in the car park, and he's asked me to tell you guys that there's so much fun for us to have tonight. So, don't be in a hurry. I need us to sit down and relax. <laughs> Let's go now. 
Calm down. Okay. Let, if you are not part of the family, please go back to your seat. We want to judge now. Who was the best dancer? You can have your seat, everybody. Who said celebrant? Why did you choose the celebrant? See the way he was digging it now. Please, one more time, put your hands together for the Annie Four Shades. All right. So, the party is starting, Ernest. Thank you for coming. You're looking so gorgeous, sir. I like your green bow tie. Reminds me of when I went to see Trudeau. My, he's my guy. I, I see him regularly. Once in, in, my, in my blue moon, when I sleep. All right, so. No borrow, borrow. So, we'll start with uh, Pastor Oba. Do we have Pastor Oba in the house? Please put your hands together for Pastor Oba as he comes forward. To give us the opening prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am supposed to take the opening prayers, but when I saw them dancing in. I just feel like say one or two things. First and foremost, we are all welcome to this great gathering and God bless you for coming in Jesus' name. When I saw him dancing, in, uh, my mind went to that picture I saw outside. And when I was coming in, I saw that picture, the first thing that crossed my mind. Back home, the time I saw those pictures is a uh, rest in peace. 
great man. I'm like, oh, this is for birthday. Congratulations, sir. And so the Bible says, so uh, help us to number our days so that we may apply our heart to wisdom. That's right. One of the wisdom that numbering our days help us to apply our heart to is being thankful to God. When you do things like this, you discover that your heart is uh, so full of gratitude to God. I'm sorry to say, if you don't love God here, if you don't accept God here, I believe in God. And God is the main thing. So if you are gathering people like this, you are saying, Ah, oh, Father, I thank you. And it's a good thing to be grateful to God. So help us to number our days so that we apply our heart to wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. But if you think about wisdom, wisdom is still a minor thing. Because there are greater things than wisdom. Because the Bible will tell you the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So no one actually has true wisdom without the fear of God. And as I think of him and I, I see his wife and children, I might get please uh, Bible, I think Psalm 128 for me, please. My mind was cast to what the Bible says here about uh, fear of the Lord. So if I read from Psalm 128, it will tell you, Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his way. For thou shalt eat the labor of thy hands. Happy shall thou be, and it shall be well with thee. So when I saw him coming with the wife and children, here what was on my mind. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thy house. Thy children like olive plants around about thy table. Behold, that thou thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. Congratulations. You are blessed of the Lord. And he has established you in the name of Jesus. So before I pray, please can we in respect to him and honor to God be on our feet. I want us to raise a, a single prayer point for him. The Bible has been fulfilling his life, his wife by his side, his children around his table. But if you think about the age 50, he has done a lot of things. If you ask me, 50 upwards is, is a moment, season of establishment. So this is, I think, I waited patiently upon the Lord and inclined unto me and hearkened unto my cry. The point I'm going to now is that. He said, he brought me also up out of the horrible pit, out of the merry clay, established my feet on the rock, and set my coins. The age 50 upward is moment of establishment. You just close your eyes and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, establish this your son. Set his foot on the rock. From this moment onward, whatever thing that pertains to his life, let him be established. Whatever thing that pertains his life, and he move around, let his goings be established. His feet on the rock cause him not to be shaking. As he's numbering his day, cause his wisdom to increase higher. Yes, of course, if he tells you his life story, the Lord has brought him out of a horrible pit over time. Out of the merry clay. This season, you say, Father, please set his feet on the rock and establish his goings in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Father, we give you all the thanks. Thank you for your son. Thank you for this day in his life. Thank you for bringing him this far. Thank him because, thank you because you've helped him to remember, to number his days. And his heart is grateful unto you. We we'll give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. Except the Lord build the house, the labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wicked but in vain. Lord, in the name of Jesus, 
over his life beyond that which you have done to him. He will do greater in the name of Jesus. Beyond his understanding, you will build him afresh. Beyond his imagination, you will take him far off in the name of Jesus. A virtuous wife who can find her, her prize is beyond rubies. Lord, I pray concerning him, even his wife, she will be a greater support than she has ever done in the name of Jesus. Lo, children at the foot of the womb and a reward from the old Lord. Happy is the man that heart is quiver full of them. He shall not be ashamed but speak with the enemies at the gate. Lord, this is a land that swallow even the children. As touching his children by yourself, you will establish in the name of Jesus. He won't look at his children and be ashamed. He won't look at his children and be ashamed. And the enemies will not use his children to insult him in the name of Jesus. Lord, because you have done this to him, you have put a new song in his mouth. He will sing praise even unto you. Lord, many shall see that which you will do for him and fear you and trust you in the name of Jesus. Lord, you set his foot on the rock. And you are that rock. Whatever thing that is committed unto your hand, you are able to keep. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I commit him into your hand. Thus far have you brought him. Lord, henceforth, he still dwell in laughter. He dwell in praising you. In the name of Jesus. Satisfy him early again. That which is his deepest desire even in this season. Satisfy him early. Through him, men will fear you. Through him, men will come to know you. And I pray for him and his household. Even this is the land that if people are not careful, they reject you. In the name of Jesus, for him and his household, they will never reject you. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I establish them in your word. I establish them in your word. The Lord, in the name of Jesus, thy word will be lamp unto their feet and light unto their path. In the name of Jesus. Errors that people made and they are consuming shame in this land. By your word is far away from them. He will live to glorify your name forever. He will live to glorify your name forever. But more importantly, O oh Lord, when the road shall be called up yonder, him and his generation shall not be far wanting. And Lord, because you have gathered these great people to celebrate with them, I still pray when the road shall be called up yonder, as many that are here will not be found wanting. Anyone that is wandering away from you and here, by yourself, you will put them to yourself in the name of Jesus. Let this meeting be a counterpoint that people will come to know you. We give you all the glory because you are ever faithful. Thank you because you have heard us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. And the people will shout a big amen. amen. A round of applause for Pastor as he takes his seat. Wow. I thought after that prayer, we were going to share grace and go home. Because I was looking as if we were in church already. Pastor, please, I have a name of a church that we can, I'm an assistant pastor. I can keep money very well. I might not be able to preach like you or pray like you, but I, I, I'm very good with keeping money. So the name of the church that I think we should form will be Mountain of Cancun and Fire Ministry. Cancun. That's where we'll start the ministry from. Beside the water, the beach. Cancun in Mexico. In Mexico. All right, thank you so much, Pastor, for that. That was really, really good. All right, so let me start from this table. Pastor's table. 
If you have one adjective to describe Mr. Yola, what would it be? Who wants to start? Just one adjective. Okay, I should give uh, Gio. Prof. It looks like Gio. Prof. One adjective, what would it be? I, what's an adjective? <laughs> I think. I, can't use I, I have to go back to my lecturing room. Describe the noun. Yes, I, I think in primary school they told us adjective is an, an active word that describes a noun. Am I right? <laughs> well, um, if I have anything to say about him, I think he's a very calm person. Very, very calm. And not just calm, is genuinely humble. Yeah, that's what personally I know about him. Uh, okay. Some people are humble. You know, you know a humble man. You know a humble man. When you think somebody is uh -huh. humble, is when you 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 cross his red lines. That is when you know if he's a humble person or not. Being quiet doesn't mean you are humble. For him, he is quiet and genuinely humble. And one thing I also say about him, he said that you should act I say only one thing, you just say one adjective. And you have given a lecture, but continue. continue. Okay, um, you know, he's, um, he's an oil, oil and gas engineer, and he knows a lot about soil. So um, there's an ancient theory in geography. Uh, it says that in those days, thousands of years ago, the earth used to be in one form called Pangea. This uh, theory was discovered by a professor, German professor called Alfred Wegener. So, but due to rotation of the earth and some internal forces, Which it's split into the various... What, what's forms. going on? What's, what's, what, what's going on? I'm here? going somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Let me learn. Okay. So, due to rotation of the earth and some internal forces... It's split Please remind into, me not to give him mic again. <laughs> it's split into various forms. We have Africa, Europe, and all the rest. So how does that apply to his life? I want to be trusting God for his life because the earth split because of internal forces and rotation. For him, we are trusting God that no internal or external force will split everything he has gathered all the rest of his life. You know, there's a lot of things he has gathered. Like I said, he's, he's somebody who is loaded. He has a lot of potentials. He's, he has studied a lot. We just hope that everything he has gathered no internal or external force will be able to scatter them and he will, you know the Bible says Methuselah lived for 970 something years and then he died. That was all about Methuselah's biography. But for him, if you look at his biography, it's loaded and very, very thick. And we pray his biography will keep growing all the rest of his life and God will bless him. And he will stay a comfort and he will stay a genuinely humble person all the days of his life in Jesus' name. Amen. Please. There's too much pastors in this, on this table. I'm avoiding this table forever and ever in Jesus' name. Please, the question is simple. One adjective to describe this man. Simple. I'm not giving anybody a mic again. I hold the mic by myself. So I'm on this table now. Table three. Please, who is, your, who is the leader of this table? Ah, you are the only man in this table. Well done, sir. You are doing well. You are doing well. Is your... He's your leader, okay. Hope you lead these people well. Because it's not easy. One woman is enough. Now I have like 10. All right, so who is the leader of this, of this table? Is you, Abby? They say, hey, yeah, they, they voted for you. So one adjective to describe Mr. Yola, what would it be? He's a handsome man. Handsome man. Thank you. Let me come to this table. Uh, so, one adjective, who is your leader in this table? Follow the leader. <laughs> one adjective to describe Mr. Ayola, what would it be? He's a very pleasant man. Mm. Yeah. It's a pleasant man. How, how pleasant? What? <laughs> yes, uh, let her explain. The way she said it, her voice was so calm. So I want to. He, he, he has given you money before. No. Okay. 
It's not about money, right? Yeah. It's just that he's a pleasant. When you meet him, calm, collected, very, pleasant. Very calm. His words are soothing. Yes. Advices. Please, a round of applause for Mr. Yola. All right, I'll just take one more table because we have a lot lined up tonight. Let me look for a table that there is a... This man is smiling, so he looks like... <laughs> so, let me... I appoint you as the leader of this table. One adjective to describe Mr. Yola. Um, he's very analytical. Mm. Yeah. Analytic-minded. Yes. <laughs> so he breaks it down. Very well. Mm. 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 <laughs> a round of applause for Mr. Yola. One more time. All right, so... With that at the back of our mind, we'll just quickly do this. We'll play this game. The game says, how well do you know Mr. Iola? So let's bring out our phone. Bring out your phone. Go to, go to, let's open the web page. Go to kahoot.it and give you the number you type in. All right, so we start. People are still joining, that's the thing. <laughs> uh, I don't want, I want, because the money outside is plenty. So I don't want anybody to lose out on the money, okay? All right, so, 607-7610. Start. Kahoot. Mr. Yola's 50th birthday, I can just, it's the fastest finger too, so you have to always be glued to your phone. What date exactly is my birthday? May 3rd, May 4th, May 5th, May 2nd. And the answer is May 2nd. Some of you just came at the thrice, so you don't, some people chose May 3rd, some chose May 4th, but the answer is May 2nd. All right, let's see who's leading this game. Who is Bold Boa? Who is Bold Boa? Bold Boa, you're there. All right, you're leading, you're leading, you're leading. So, fastest finger too, you have to choose as fast as possible. So, Bold Boa, you're leading. Who is Soaring Griffin? Soaring Griffin. Oh, you're there. It looks like the winner will come from that side. I'm beginning to suspect. All right, let's go to the next. Next question. What city in Nigeria was I born? India. Ilishon. Ibadan. Ilesha. What city in Nigeria was I born? Me, I'll choose India. I know. All right. 23 people got it right. And it is Ilesha. This young man is not from Ilishon. He's from Ilesha. All right. Let's see who's leading this chart. Oh, who is Witty Crane? Witty Crane. Wait, wait. Family member are not playing, no. Are you family member? You're not family hey. No family member is playing. No. All right. So, Witty Crane has taken control. She's leading. We stop luck. Sturdy luck. Sturdy luck. Oh, yeah. That table. You guys are conspiring. All right. Let's go to the next. Look at your phone. How many children do I have? Choose it on your phone now. You uh, fastest finger. Is it four? Is it two? Is it five? Is it three? How many children do I have? And 39 people got it right. Who are the people that got it wrong? Let's go to, let's see who's leading. Witty Crane is still leading. Nice, nice. Fastest finger. Let's go to next. Next. Question four. What is my oldest daughter's name? Is it BCD? Is it Bisayo? Is it Bisoye? Is it Bisola? <laughs> Nobody is choosing BCD. All right, so it is Bisola. Let's see who is leading. Oh, study. Who is study lack? Oh, study lack is right there. Nice, fastest finger. Let's go to the next. The next one says, What did I study in the university? This one, you have two answers actually. Did I study geology? Did I study petrochemical science? Did I study geoengineering or petroleum engineering? So this one has two answers because he actually studied geology and petroleum engineering. But 
Whoever will get it will be fastest finger. So let's see who's leading the chart. Rapid Lemon. Who is Rapid Lemon? Ah, Rapid Lemon. Nice. Did you go to the university with him? Way back. So you know all those gists. Nice. All right, let's click on next and see who is leading. How old is my youngest daughter? Youngest child, rather, sorry. Is it 15, 12, 14, 13? Please, if the daughter are sitting down, don't tell them who. And the answer is 14. Hey, yeah, sorry. This one was split. A lot of people are still thinking she's, uh, maybe we're last year. We're not last year. She has grown to 14. So let's see who's leading. And the leader right now is Radiant Rooster. Who is Radiant Rooster? Nice. No, this table, I don't want anyone to be. All right, let's go to the next question. Seven. What is my popular nickname? So it's a giveaway now. Is it president? Is it prestigations? Is it prestimo? Or is it prestige? All of you know how I mean. Anybody that fit this one? No. Eh? Six people wrote president. Mr. Ayala, they want to make you a president. It's a good thing, you know. It's a good thing, at least. <laughs> But it is in the invitation. Prestige is there. What, who is failing? Why are you failing it again? So let's go to the next. Let's see who's leading. And the leader remains Radiant Rooster. So you are still leading. Nice. So we have how many more questions? Three more questions. It's getting tougher now. What is my queen's first name? Ulori's first name. Is it Olabi? Omo? Lara Omolara Omoluabi. It's not there. So let me tell you what happened. Eh? My computer changed it. I'm serious. I put Omolola and the computer changed to Omolara. So this one, bonus. Unfortunately, somebody chose Omolara. And Omolara was the answer that this computer chose. So let's see who's leading. I didn't change your name, I'm sorry. It is the computer that changed your name. All right, so Radiant Trusta. Ah, she, <laughs> she must have Expo, I mean. Mm, it's true, it's, it's Expo, it's Expo. All right, let's go to the next question. We have two more questions to go, and we would have a winner. Which quadrant of the city do, do I reside? Is it the northwest, southeast, southwest, or the northeast? Where do I live in Calgary? And the answer is the northwest. So let us see who is leading now. And Radiant Rooster is still leading. She just came from nowhere. And she's leading. Who is Fast Panther? Fast Panther. Who is Fast Panther? Who is Fast Panther? I don't know your name. Look at your phone. Look, you see it. Fast Panther is there. Where? She's. Oh, you're there. Fast Panther. Oh, because you're a family member. You don't want to. <laughs> I'll not give you any gift, though. It's not you. Who is Clever Lion? Cle ah, nice. Ah. See, uh, let's do PDP because we are wearing the same kind of clothes. You need to do it in such a way that you will win. All right. Let me give you the answer. All right, so the last question will determine who will be the winner for this. How much do you know me? Next, question 10. What day of the week was I born? Is Mr. Elana give you the question? He's a weekend man. Is it Thursday? Were you there when you born him? <laughs> Is it Thursday, Saturday, Tuesday, or Monday? Just choose the one that your mind follow. And the answer is Tuesday. There's a reason why I put the question at last. Because, like, Mr. Ayola, were we there when they born you? I don't understand why you give me this question. All right. The winner of this game is, I will click on next, ladies and men to gen. Gentlemen. For the third position is Soren Griffin. Second position is Radiant Rooster. And number one, position.
Revelation goes to. Wait, before I come up. Hold it. Let me close. Mr. Ella, hold it for me. Hold you. Hey! I told you that I have this. Hey! You guys. Hey! Mr. Ella, open it. Open it first. Yeah, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. All right. Oh, Soren Griffin. Soren Griffin. Soren Griffin. Please, put your hands together for her. So, you took the position. This goes to you. When, when everywhere is very cold, you can just go to Tartans and, you know, get yourself a cup of, of coffee. So let's see who's the second. Radiant Rooster. Put your hands together for Radiant Rooster. She won't take the first dish. But unfortunately, that goes. Thank you so much for playing the game and for knowing Mr. Ayola. And ladies and gentlemen, Mr. DJ, are you ready? Give me, give me for, for the champion. For the champion, if your hands are not busy, put your hands together for Clever Lion! Tell that. you. I said we would do the I and we did me. Me, I know how to do this. Hey! 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 What's your name, sir? Odubi Ishola. Odubi, and like people that sing Apala. Remember me, she said, Odubi Ishola. 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 Oh, that's how you both call it. But we were actually. Please put your hands together as this man takes the first position. Thank you so much for playing. <laughs> Please, if you want to take so bring a good time. It's superstar at the moment. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Sh uh, Mr. Ishola. Your name even sounds close to the to the celebrant today. All right, so where is my? Okay, so are you ready to, Mr. DJ? So what we want to do now is just to celebrate Mr. Iola for just five minutes. Since people already show that they know him, he wants to also appreciate them with this nice dance step. I remember those it's 1992, when we used to hang out in, you remember? Me, are you, are you, were you there? Were you there? We used to dance, boogie down. We used to wear ball, uh, uh, bare bottom. So you show them that dance skill. Now, DJ, are you ready? So they're just gonna dance for like two, three minutes. Then you can that husband and the wife. Then you can join them, celebrate them, spray some money not on their head, whatever you wanna do. But just to give them some time to have uh, that dance. DJ, let's go, Fred.
I'm 
We never shop. I beg, I beg, I beg. But you guys are just having fun. I love this crowd, I beg. All right. But that does not mean that uh, I will not give you food. Uh, we just have some things lined up. And after what we're doing now, the next thing we'll be doing is I'll be calling on each table to come out and take pictures with Mr. and Mrs. Iola Nifooshi. And then after that, we'll walk majestically over to that table and take our view. Yeah. 
Raise up popular demand. She no go there. There was something that got there. Yes. 
Yes. Okay, let's go. Aha, she don't change gear. She has changed gear. Okay now. He was a Why? All this is I go for you now. I'm gonna get you by yeah, yeah, yeah.
comes out, we just quickly play one game. Mr. DJ, are you ready? Are you ready? Alright, so each table, nominate a leader. Nominate a, who, is, who is the leader in this table? Who is the is leader? Choose now. Who you guys should vote? All of you are leaders. Uh, oh yeah, all of you. Come on. Omega leader. So, Omega, hey, wait. Just that who is the leader on this table? He's the one. You choose him. They have, to, they have chosen you. You are the chosen one. I'm going to go around with the leaders. What we are going to do, DJ is going to play a song, just the intro, and you must tell me the name of the song and the artist that sang the song. DJ Fred, are you ready? You got them, I mean, please, nobody should use Shazam. If you use Shazam, your phone will spoil. And no Google. We want to know who knows who used to party in those days. All right, let me start from, let me start this table. DJ, give me one song. Ah, mommy, why did you remove your face? You don't remove my hair. Don't come near me. 
He said Raskimono. What is it? Oh, okay. I thought he said Raskimono. You say, but this is not your table. What concerns you in this matter now? When you reach your table now, you will not know it. So who, who sang the song? Shabarangs. What's the title of the song? You don't know. Is this your... DJ, give me another song. Break it down, break it down. When you see the song that you know now, see how you rush. Oh yeah, tell us who sang it. Every head now goalie. Every head now goalie. And what's the title of the song? Jealousy. I mean, it's very simple now, right? Like, he's already saying, Je he's already shouting jealousy. All right, DJ, let me go to this table. Give me the next song. Ah. Yeah. Hey. Show it. leader now is it this man or 50 cents go 100 dollar 50 50 50 my ah who's your you don't like Aruno Shola who sang this song and what's the title <laughs> and you are confidently saying Al Kelly Zazuko Koko Tuani so, you people, you don't know this song. You know the beat. Okay, what's the title of the beat? The beat. The beat. See, I'll punish this table the way I punish that table. You eat last. Another one. I'll, okay, let me let me go to a table that knows it. Pastor Rice, what's the title of the song? Give it to me. What's it, what's it? Give it to me. Give, baby, give it to me. Correct. A round of applause for this table. This is what we were saying, I don't know, Shola. I don't know, Shola. Come. All right, let me come to this table. Where are the pastor and the professor? Ipu, I show you, baby. I show you, baby. Last table to go and eat. All right, DJ, let's go. Hey. Hey. Very simple song. Break it down, break it down. Where are you running to? Bring it down, DJ. Ah, man, why you running to? She says. So who sang this song? He said, Son Yokosu, what's the title of the song? Nigeria Jaka Jaka. <laughs> I'm trying to understand. Who wants to help? Who knows the title of the song? Eh, Oxygen. OCD. DJ, is that correct? African soldier. Bros, where did you, which song did you hear? They say I should check it. DJ, we have to know who. So, is it OCD or African soldier? They say, it's Af I mean, is that the title of the album? Maybe that's the album. So, DJ, you're wrong. Uh, that man, yeah, please clap for him. He knows what to say. I should give you. I, I share it now, half here, half there. You didn't get the name. DJ, let me go to this table. Hey. You know, ah, oh, you've given the expo. Who sang this song? As you heard our voice, Abi, you must be doing your Joro in exam. So, what's the title of this song? Bantu, Taitu, me and you. <laughs> shall live at, see your Taitu now, like Nigerian Nollywood. You know, me and you shall live as one call. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Eh? DJ, play another song for me. Now you see what I'll do. DJ, friend, let's go. Ah. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Not too, not too loud. What's the title of this song? Ah, you are thinking about it. Uh -huh. but, but you first calculate and first. Who sang the song? Mini Vanilli? No. Paradise was not done by Mini Vanilli. 
DJ, few colleagues, a round of applause for you guys. Nice. Let me do the last one, and I will go. Did I love this chair on the floor? Where are we now? This table, right? Which table? This table. This table looks like there is OG on this table. DJ, give me a nice, correct song. Sorry, sir. Ah. Bring it down, bring it down. Who sang it? Tony Braxton, what's the title? Ah, this man. You have Tay in the market. Please, make a clap for this man. Man. The guy did not even, he did not even wait for the song to play. He has, ah. <laughs> Now you talk about, they say he has broken many hearts for him to know the song. He, he has broken so many hearts. The next superstar dancers, if your hands are not busy, please put them together for the children of Mr. and Mrs. Annie Fowoshe and their friends. DJ, let's go now.
you for coming. Honestly, I don't know what to say. I do not know. We are so we are so appreciative of everyone. My name is Mrs. Actually Mr. Yorindi Adichoro. Me and if we share a show. We had to talk about my brother. I call him my little brother, but he doesn't like to be called that. He I doesn't like you. to be called that. You say just four months. Come on. I'm like okay calculate four months. By minutes, by seconds, right? This guy, 10 minutes will not be enough for me to talk about this great guy. This guy is my brother. He's not just my brother, he's my childhood friend. You know why you have your sibling as your friend? Before Lola came, I just hijacked him like that. Lola, it's not fair, but I release you. I release you. Yola and I were very, we are. A uh, family, a very big family from Malaysia. Our father was of blessed memory, Pat James and Fushia. Huh? We are from a big polygamous family. We are, you would not know who is this mom, who is that mom, but we are just one. But out, out of everyone, Yola and I were the closest. We were so close that people thought we were dating. It was bad. Your like secondary school and mine was about, I think when you walk it about 10 kilometers afar, Yola will wait for me. My school is further than than his own. After his school, he will wait for me. I will come, then we'll walk home. Yola will choose my boyfriend then. <laughs> he will tell you, our boy is Gala Gala Olufe. I'm like, are you the one to approve my boyfriend? I approve of my boyfriend. We, I remember one day, and honestly, like we were so close, like you know, as kids, we will be naked, we don't see anything in it. We will be just in the same room, on the same bed, 
with the light off and with our innocent mind. Someone, someone just, one day, someone just came in. I'm like, and your mom, Baba Meiji, chef, chef. I'm like, what do you, he didn't even occur to us. Like, from the innocence of our mind, we were close to a fault. We were really close. Iola, I appreciate God in your life today. God has been with you from the beginning. This guy here is a gracious guide. guy. He has this grace and oil of him. Iola, just like everybody said, he's so supportive of everybody. Iola is like the big pillar. Everybody can run to him, and he will make sure he touches everybody's life. I want to thank your God for your life today. And I thank God for your life, Lola. God has given you to each other. I was talking with Lola today. Lola said, it's just the grace of God. And I said, I feel you. I, I can, that God gave me my own husband, my brother. I said, I feel you. And I thank God I'm enjoying that grace in my husband's house too. I pray for you. Your money, I want money. With you eat, with not eat in your mouth, you'll be there together. And I thank God you'll be 60, 70, 80, 90, 120, until you begin to tell God to negotiate your exits. I said, God, okay, that's okay. In good health, in prosperity, it shall be well with you. Whatever you lay your hands to do will continue to prosper. Lola, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a good hijack. I love you, Lola. You know that. Only Bumi, the Africa. But the Bumi, Laroy. I think you're not a pupa. I'm not going to pupa. I'm not going I thank everybody, and I appreciate everybody. I came all the way from Toronto with my friend here, against all odds. Bola, please stand up. I give it to you, honestly. She missed a fly like two times. This morning again, she said, pick me at the airport. I was almost crying. My sister, Sarah Mokeojo, I love you. Thank you. I appreciate everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said, I can't be here for two minutes. I finished talking about Yola, but I speak volume. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. That's, that's uh, powerful. So, sir, they say you are very supportive. I have a project that I want to do. I need $100,000. Yeah, you know the one that say... That one is small, you see? You say? Consider it done. You say you're not. You say you consider it done. It shall over Oh, my Lord God. Okay, no worries. I will send in my uh, proposal. And uh, all these people, I have their number. If it does not happen, here, <laughs> well, uh, all right. So before I call on the next uh, person that will be coming out, let me call on the children. They've also got something to say about their dad. And I'm sure their assistant. Why is it that women will always, when women, like Women's Day, will celebrate them? The Men's Day will not celebrate women again. Why? It's because of peace. It, mm, mm, to allow peace to reign. All right, put your hands together as I bring the children. Are you guys ready? They are not ready. Oh, they are ready. Do you want to dance again? Okay, so come inside. Come in. Please clap for them as they come. These are lovely children. Happy birthday, Dad. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and all the best in the next section. You've always been there for me my, and my family. I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you and what you've done and what you'll still do by God's grace. Thank you for always buying me McDonald's and taking care of me. <laughs> God has given you strength and courage to be able to continue to provide for us. You're an amazing father and number one role model for me. I hope you enjoy your party and I wish you all the best. Thank you. What's your name? You didn't tell us your name. Eniola. Eniola. All right. So the next one, come and stay here so that everybody will see you. Don't stay.
Okay. <laughs> my name is Damilola. Um, so my dad is one of a kind, a man with great values, principles, and ethics. When I look at my dad, I see a man that cares for his family a lot, and he values them above anything. He's my biggest supporter and motivator, whether he's thousands of miles away or right beside me. I can always talk to him, and he tells me he's proud of me or he gives me motivation. And he always congratulates me when I do good things. My favorite thing about my dad is when he calls me his personal assistant, because I'm always learning from him. <laughs> I'm glad I was brought into this world by him. And I just want to say thank you for everything you do for our family and everything you've sacrificed. I just want to say a big thank you to my mom for all the years of support. And I pray to find a woman as lucky as she is. Is it possible to just celebrate the, the man today? Today is his 50th. Is it just possible? OK. She's a politician. She, Abby. Yeah, I see it. All right, so let's bring the next. A round of applause as she comes in. Come this way so that I won't block our dad and our mom. Happy birthday, dad. Um, so my dad is indeed a dad. He's a father, a protector, a provider. Um, he's truly the most inspiring, supportive, caring, and I thank God every day for giving my mom such a good husband. And he has been able to give us a constant figure in our lives. Um, he's always there to congratulate us, as my sister says, even if he's not. Um, present with us in Calgary. Um, he, not many have the advantage of having hit, having someone that will always show up and be there for you in times of need. Um, what I love the most about him is his wise words. Um, I'm someone that always needs a little bit of pushing to get out of my comfort zone, um, and he knows the right amount. Um, he knows when to step in, and he knows when to give me space to stand on my own two feet. Um, I know for a fact I wouldn't be here where I am today as a person, as a woman, and as my mother's daughter. He's always strives to give us the best and pushes us to always find better, to know your worth, to be able to stand for that. He's calm, soft-spoken, and he can be tough when it's needed. He's indeed a teacher, a good advisor. Um, only so much words can describe the amount of grace um, God has placed upon his life. Um, I pray that in my old age, I'll be able to take care of him um, as he's taking care of us. Um, I pray that God continues to grant him good health, um, a peace of mind, happiness, and all that his heart desires. Um, as his first daughter, it's definitely been an honor to be able to see the standards that he's set successfully. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Wow, I, have you considered, wait, DJ Fred, wait, have you considered working in CNN or something? <laughs> what do you intend to become? Um, probably a lawyer. A lawyer, ah. You have won all the cases. All your cases are won. Because George will just be like this. This is where George will be. Wow, wow. So you mean this man is not guilty? Acquitted. She sounds so lovely. Like, I know some of us, we didn't understand that because some of us, like, Ijebu Jesha, still in our blood. But me, I understood what she was saying. I under, like, everything she said, I, I could grab it, right? So, that, that was wonderful. You said, you said what? I do what? I should say it again. Ah, wait now. Thank you so much, Mom, because you've been so nice to us and you've been a father figure to us. Is that how you were saying it? I want to go Igbo. We we can speak. Ah, we can speak. Eh, we both are so Igbo. So English is different. So my own is like what for a pakodo or what? Ah, well, people, are, Mr. Yola, people are very. Weak. This is your audience. They are wicked to me. I'm angry. All right. So we're gonna bring it. Did your friend bring it down? Bring it down. Please put your hands together as a priest. The priest himself. Come, come this way. Don't stand in front of your dad. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Adria Abichbola. Um, I think I'm so grateful for everyone for coming today and celebrating him because he deserves to be. Uh, 50 years is not a small feat to accomplish with his success. And I'm so grateful, and we all are, for having you as a father. I think they very much encapsulated everything that he's worthy of and everything that he is, his personality, his character. And when I think about everything they've said, all I can come to conclude is thank you. Thank you for bringing us here. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. 
because we're very well aware that we're privileged and we thank you that you are very understanding and to me to me personally as a man and as a first child i'm very grateful to him because i think the best pers uh, the best point of views that i have and ideologies that i have of this world he taught me without knowing it he didn't say it to me but i saw it and i knew that those are good characters that i would love to have as a man and as i'm growing up the way he takes care of his family I'm very sure that I will be emulating most of his characters because I know that that is what it takes to make a successful family and I'm so grateful. And to mom, the most important, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Last but not least, thank you for making us. Thank you for bringing us here. Thank you for supporting us. There has been a lot of struggles and mountains that we've had to overcome and I'm so grateful and we are all so thankful that you been here with us, you've supported us, you've been happy even when you didn't need to be. Dad, thank you for loving her. Mom, thank you for loving her. Even when times were tough and it was a struggle, we appreciate that you stayed together for us because most of all, the family is what is important. And to his friends, I appreciate and I thank you all for coming here to celebrate him because he's a good man that doesn't even like to condemn other people even when they've done him bad and that is such a good character that not a lot of people have and i'm so grateful because i know that from me to my younger brother each and every single one of us are obviously going to know that and are going to know that that is what something we want to try and achieve and i know that each and every single one of his friends have a specific character in him that they deem so well acceptable that they would like to emulate as well thank you so much for for bringing us here and thank you so much for being the best father that we could ever imagine i was gonna <laughs>
for the animal horses. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you for also being good children, right? You know, it's not also, it's a different thing when you try to train your children and they listen and you try to train them and they don't listen. We all pray that we have children sent by God and not by Amadioha. You know this thing. Or need to see, right? Please put your hands together for her, please, as she comes out. Hi everyone, good evening, and trust we all have having a good evening. Um, I don't even know how to, like, I'm sure I can't beat what uh, my cousins have said, like, I literally can't say half of what they've said, and really, all they've said is uh, uh, majorly the truth, like 100% the truth. Anyways, I'm Temidayo, and uh, I'm a niece to the celebrants. I think I'll give myself the award as the favorite <laughs> niece. <laughs> yeah, and I think I would, I can say I'm maybe speaking on behalf of um, my other cousins. I really, if I'm stuck about my uncle, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. But one thing, just to summarize, one thing I would say is, uh, or one thing that keeps showing up when everybody comes to talk, is that he's someone who is very big on family, like he loves his family so much, he supports his family so much. He's very compassionate, like very, very kind. Uh, a lot of stories, like right now, I'm just trying to figure out which one do I want to talk about. A lot of stories like keep coming to mind every time I think about him. And like um, the MC said, uh, it's easy for a man to be a biological father, but it takes um, someone who is really intentional. That's to what I wanted to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry, you pay me for that. <laughs> <laughs> but it takes someone who is really intentional to actually be a father. And uh, my uncle here has been, he has been a father. He has been a father to me personally uh, because, uh, how do I put this now? Okay, so I was brought up by a single parent, yeah, uh, just by my mom. So he really was that um, person that stood in for us as, as a dad, my son and my sister. So I really want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to you, sir. Like, I really don't know how to say it, but I just say a very big thank you to you, sir. Like, God will thank you for me. Everyone will thank you for me. Because you've been very, very private at a lot of things in my life. You know, starting from when I was pretty much young, primary school through high school, through uni, and a lot of things, really. And he's always, he's someone I actually look forward, someone I look to to get his, um, his what's it called now? Thank you, validation, that's the right word, validation. And I think I can just say the same thing for my cousins too, like, he's someone we all look up to, he's like the role model to us in our family. Yeah. We really love you so much, like, and we are grateful to God that you're actually in our family, like, it's a big privilege. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm you, but really, I need to talk about his wife, because really, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's there's something there's a popular saying that um sometimes marriage can either make or marry you. You know, the kind of person you marry would, would tell how, how much or how far you can go in life. Um Aunt Lola has been she's been wonderful. Like she's been really wonderful. So I don't even see her <laughs> Yes, yes, that's the right word. <laughs> exactly. Really, I don't even see her as an auntie or as an in-law. I think I'm even much more closer to her than my uncle instead. And it's sometimes it's so difficult for me to call call them auntie and uncle because really they're like parents to me. So Ma, thank you so much. Thank you for giving my uncle peace. Thank you for helping him build his home. And thank you for the lovely children that you've brought up also. And I pray that the Lord shall continually bless you. Uh, your marriage shall continually be a source of joy. And um, you keep enjoying a lifetime of ease. You keep enjoying the lifetime of his. And really, I'm just short of words, but in some real, I can just say is thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your care. Thank you for your support and motivation. And thank you to everyone also for coming out here to celebrate our uncle with us. Really appreciate 
you all. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much for that. All right, thank you very much for that. You know, so is there still room in your house for extra charge? There's still, you have space. I think I won't stay. The other thousand is, don't give me again. Don't let me come and leave your house. Because this one that everybody is just talking about you. I, so that I can be one of your children. So consider me now. My name is Fola Anifo Woshi. So that's, that's my new name, please. Hey, can you play that song for me again, DJ? Fola Anifo Woshi. A round of applause for Mr. Nivoshe. He has adopted me. I'm his new child. So I'm the last born, though. No, I'm the last born. I agree. You see? You no. Know. Is that ma? Yes, I need paperwork. So we have lawyers in the house, Abi. Please. Please, my full name is Olua Folaomi, Michael Olua Junwonlo, Ola Olua Tunde, and Nifooshi. That's my. Please write it down, put it in the. You say what? Registry. Oh my God. Ah, they will put it. They must put it. Thank you so much for adopting. Please let me clap for this man again one more time. All right, I'm just going to give the microphone to one person, just one more person who will say one thing about this man. And I'm throwing it to the house. Who wants to say something about Mr. Nifushi? Here. Please, please tell us your name first. My name is Prince Joshua Ojo. Please put your hands together for Prince Joshua Ojo. Uh, greetings to everybody here tonight. Uh, may the peace of the Lord be with everybody in Jesus' name. Um, actually, um, I didn't know Mr. Nifo Oshie from the get-go. But his wife is my classmate by Columbia College, Calgary. And when we have an issue about the courses, she always says, oh, my husband is away, but he's going to come. And then it's like when she gets tense, she mentions her, the name of her husband. And you know one thing is this one about life. If your wife can mention your name severally, it means you are significant in his life, I mean, in her life. For well, that way, like you know, <laughs> For that, for that, for that, for that reason, please, I want everybody here to stand up. Everybody, please, if you can, if you can, please, if you can, everybody. <laughs> DJ, please, one second. Please say as followed. You point your finger to any Fooshi family. in <laughs> Is she a woman? alien residence in Canada, Echo Ire, at Ire, Lolly, in long. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Ah, you want to pursue us and go? Because we give you a speech now, which all of us. So they gave me a gist, Mr. Ayola. They said that if I want to really be adopted, it's actually Anifo Oshe Esho. Exactly. So I'm, I'm working on this paper. All right. So let me bring my sister also. Just, just give her something. Please, a round of applause for her as she comes out. She's been assisting me to do this work. She's made my job easy. Thank you so much. And we are going to share the page. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming. You are all looking radiant. 
God bless you. When it's your time to be celebrated, thousands will rise up on your behalf. Uh, I don't know what to say, but just as this brother said, you two have been married for 24 years. And if you think I'm not married, <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> but anytime, Lola, okay, Lola, she's my cousin, as Bola and the celebrant grew up together, we grew up together, and unfortunately, I didn't know that she got married to my friend's brother. So, <laughs> I didn't know. They were, she was married, I was not there, I was not around when she got married, so we would not be seen. So when we, now she came to me, ah, she said, you are in Canada, I'll be coming to Canada about 2014 or so. I said, I'm in Toronto, I said, I'm going to Calgary, okay, we'll see. So we have not seen since then. But there's one thing, when there is peace, when the woman is peaceful, give it to the man. They always say that uh, a good woman builds the house, the man gives the foundation. If the man does not give you what to build on, you cannot build. Is it that you like it or you leave it? I've been married, I've been there before. You understand what I'm saying? So if they are saying a woman is peaceful, the man has given her everything she needs. So everybody can be happy to celebrate this night. God will bless you. When I saw my sister, we, of course, we grew up together. I'm a worship before our name. <laughs> praise the Lord. So I have been looking to the pastor and so praise the Lord, my God, not of me. So when I, when I saw her, I saw the peace of God. I don't even know the husband too much, but when we met, I just saw the aura of peace around him. Somebody that does not like only in your tone, not me, he jump on. And when you see a family, Tamati Sokwe, Yahweh, Tiloria is a good family. If you are here, if your wife has not used your head, you are not doing well. So, and no, you are not, it's not a curse now. But I'm not going to say, Yahweh, I'm not going to say, no, what? Ile ye to. Ile ye to. Ile wa o ni daru. It's a lesson here for us. When we go out, we have to go with one or two things. It's not only to eat rice and drink wine and go. How can I impart this into my life? The joy when I saw this morning in, in I miss my I miss my flight for I, eh, I will be here because of this man. She has given her peace. She has given her joy. Joy will not desist from your heart in the name of Jesus. We will not be I was once a soldier in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for taking care of my sister. When I saw her, she looked more beautiful. I said, yeah. That's how we started. Thank you so much. God bless you and uh, happy birthday. Plus 50, plus 50 in the land of the living. Thank you, everybody. God bless your hosts. Thank you so much, Sister Bola. Yes, so my wife has used my head too. I can, I can tell you that for sure. It's very easy. If you want to have a happy home, let your wife use your head. See, it's very see. This life is very easy. I'm telling you. But if you don't want to be happy, you'll be doing gra gra. The money I made from this uh, occasion, my wife, she's the one that is holding it. I want to be happy. I don't want what I love in my life. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to be Mr. Iola and Mr. Iola, uh, Mrs. Anufoshi will be cutting the cake. This prestigious, prestimo, prestissimo cake. Don't mind me. This wine that is working. I call it working. So, for us to talk about this cake that is here, I'd like to call on nobody else but Sister Funke. Sister Funke, where are you? You know what, okay. Can we fill up our, uh, our cups and let's give a toast to this, the man of the moment. The man of honor, the one that we are here because today, because we, most of us we call up our box, but because of him. So let's give a toast to Mr. Iola Anifo, Chief. Let's give, let's give him Chief today. Chief, <laughs> Chief Iola Anifo Moshe Esho Okomolola. Ah, aburo mi again, sir. Oh, you are standing here. Oh, Sunny, oh, Sunny, at here. It might be no Afri na kara next time. So we are toasty to goodness, to joy, to long life. 
more money into your account, more dollars in the mighty name of Jesus, your children will become me in the name of Jesus. What has joined you together, devil will not cut it in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be any breakfast. Amen. In this family, there will be any breakfast Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you understand the breakfast? Yes, uh -huh. There is no breakfast in this family. In the name of Jesus. El Orayigo, El Orayito, in the name of Jesus. We will gather here to celebrate the weddings of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's raise up our cups. So we give the cups in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Can you toast with your wife first? Okay. You can toast, guys, toast, toast, toast. Please, can we stand up? I'm sorry. Can we stand up? Can we stand up? Can we stand up? To so, honor the man of the woman. Can we sit down? Please, Let's go. Let's remix it. of his life in the name of Jesus. Chief, can you just, and the assistant celebrant. <laughs> so we are going to call the name, uh, the case by, by spelling grace. How many people know how to spell grace here? Oh, definitely we are all, we are lost scholars. So, can we start? Give me the first letter. Give me the first letter. Another one. And the middle letter. The first one. And the E, e. call. Yeah. Sure. Sir? Sir, they say you stand up. Special person want to speak. So please, I want special appreciation for this woman. Please. Put your hands together for the queen, the madam, the one that have the mumu party. Mumu party, please. Good evening, sirs. Good evening, ma'ams. We really appreciate your presence tonight. As you have come to honor my husband, may heaven honor you all in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to appreciate the King of Kings, the Lord of God, the I am that I am, the one who was, who is, and who will always be there for the gift of life that he has spared my husband to this moment to celebrate his golden jubilee. My dear husband, my crown, my honor, my friend, my brother, you deserve more than this. You've been so wonderful, so amazing, so peaceful, 
Really? So pleasant to be with. Why? Ever since I met you for the past like 20, 29 years, you have never, you have never, never made me cry for once. And I have never regretted marrying you. Even for, even for a minute. I don't lie, I'm a, I'm a blonde person. I will say it as it is. It has been so wonderful. So peaceful. So peaceful, so humble. I don't know what to say. You know, sometimes we women, you just want to, you want to be nasty sometimes. But this very man, the the holy word, he will tell me, she be one. The moment he says, she be one, he's done. And he doesn't want to see me frowny face or just change my mood. When he sees it, he'll say, what do you want? What do you need? Just tell me. Any time, any day, even when he's at work far away, he knows everything that is happening at home. He calls, calls, when I'm dressing up to go to work, he will call, will be on Skype. When I get to work, he knows every step that I take. Uh, there's something we call a situation report. When he's at work, whatever that is going on there, when we're talking, we can talk like a two, three hours on phone when he's at work. Some of his friends say, who are you talking with, say, my wife? So what are you saying? What are you discussing for so long? He say, we have a lot to discuss. That's how we have been doing it. And we talk and talk and talk and talk. This situation report, he will tell me whatever that is happening in his workplace and whatever is happening in my workplace, whatever is happening around. And sometimes when I say he's a peaceful man, sometimes when there is a situation, I'm a kind of person that if you do something to me, I will say it straight away. Mine is to just to tell you, this is what you have done that I don't like. That's the kind of person I will tell you. But you know, sometimes when you tell some people, they might find fault, they might, you know, turn it to something else. But when I tell my husband, this is what is happening, and um, I, want to, I want to react, my husband will say, is it every, must you respond? Just let it go. Make sure you are peace with everybody. And the moment he says that, I will just keep quiet. <laughs> at times, even when he's at work, when there's a situation, and I want to react, I'm somebody that I will react. You can, you, if you tell me one, I will give you three. As you're feeling the pains, I feel the pains. But he has really trained me to be just quiet. Let it go. Be peaceful with everyone. So when situation happens, I'll say, let me do, let me, let, me, let me behave like prestige. I call him prestige. I say, let me behave like prestige. I will just swallow the whole thing, and it has really helped me. Just peaceful. I will not say it. I will just let it go, and as if nothing happened. I thank God for that. And uh, I would say he's a um, financial controller. I give it to him. I give it to him. Most of always tell me, don't be a spender, be a good saver. Even when others are complaining there is no money, my husband will say, how, how do you spend? That means you need to learn how to spend. You, there's some money that you don't spend, you don't even touch. He has really taught me about that. And he's an awesome man, he's an outstanding man. He's an excellent man. I respect your personality. You are just too much. And I want to appreciate God in your life. You are so calm. I'm not a calm person, but you are training me to be calm, and it works. It has been working, and it's still working. Thank you so much. And as we are celebrating your 50th today, we will all gather to celebrate your 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 in good health and peace of mind in Jesus' name. Once again, I respect your personality. I love you.